Hey everybody, uh, Chris Cooley Outdoors here. I got a got an unboxing video, something a little different. I picked up the ATA Etro. Um, this is a 20 gauge shotgun. Um, so yeah, I haven't even opened it up yet. Um, we'll have a look. See what we got. Shotgun. All wrapped up. Got a pretty good deal on this. Uh, place that was that had them was selling. Uh, kind of getting out of some stuff, so they had a good sale on all these. What we get in the box? We got an owner's manual. Etro tested for endurance. Uh, I believe these are made in, in uh, Turkey, so um, I got a couple Turkish shotguns. Uh, so far, they've been working really good. I don't have a twenty inch or twenty gauge, sorry, and uh, just kind of interested in. Uh, or we just wanted to get something for you know for chickens or just for planking or you know if I had uh, family or kids order one day or something like that and they want to try shooting some clay pigeons or something a little less kick. Okay, so here's some choke tubes. What do we have? Uh, Multi choke tubes. Um, one choke tube is installed in the muzzle, and the remaining choke tubes are packaged in the shipping box. So, we got a tool, and uh, we got a couple choke tubes, and I'm not sure which is which. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder if it says what chokes we have. Doesn't there is a notch there, and then this one has four notches so I'm not exactly sure don't say in there which is which but uh set that aside for now Let's see what else we got in the box I'm hoping we get a barrel there we go set that down This is a 28 inch, I believe. So, what do we say here? 20 gauge, 3 inch. So, for 2 and 3 quarter or 3 inch shells. And that's what we got there. You see, there is a choke tube in there, it's got 3 notches. Um, that's the chamber. Floor's clean. So let's uh, let's go over. So yeah, this is the Etro. It's got a little sling swivel thing there. It does kind of pivot. Uh, got a little bit of little bit of grease. Let's clean 
that up a little bit. So this is to bring her back. I'll take the muzzle cap off, or the magazine cap. Just threads off, a little tight. I'm gonna thread it on there. So that's what that looks like. Uh, and you just pull it right out actually. That's pretty slick. Uh, okay, so Almost got it. I don't know what. I guess it's not the easiest. Just give me a second here, guys. Let's see if I can get this. Find out why it's not. Maybe it's gonna be out more. I don't know. I guess, I don't know, it seemed to work better that way, just kind of get it into, in behind the, um, the receiver, or into the, the bolt, and, uh, it just kind of worked, so we'll just... This is not an expensive shotgun, so I just want something. I hope it goes bang. Okay, that's tight. It swivels. So. Okay. I don't know if that just kind of finds a spot or what. We got a crossbar safety here. Safe, or that's good to go. And then, yes, yeah, take down there. There's like a tactical version I've seen on YouTube a little bit. Okay, well, we know it's empty. Clear. Let's try that. Trigger out. I guess we do need this. There we go. That's kind of weird. Oh, that would be why. I thought I had it in all the way. I was like, oh, I guess that didn't go. No, I'm an idiot. I was wondering why like, it took forever to thread it in before and like, why there was a gap there. I guess, good thing we weren't firing real shells. Were we? Okay, that's, that makes way more sense. There we go. Now she's tight. Tight and price just right. So. Watch that trigger. It's like, there's like pressure there. It goes up a little bit. Brakes. 
pressure goes up. I mean, it's a shotgun. So, and for being a smaller shotgun, it actually shoulders fairly well. Seems to point all right. Not that you guys can see from that, but uh, you'll see when I take it out to the range and do some shooting. So, yeah, there's the ATA Etro, or Etro. ATA Arms. Yeah, made in Turkey. So, there you have her. I'll probably clean her up a little bit, put a little oil in a few spots, and uh, hopefully we're good. I think it's five capacity. Uh, I don't know if there's a plug in there right now for bird hunting or not, but uh, um, I never saw one, so I'm assuming there is one in there. But without having any shells to try it out, we'll uh, won't be able to say too much. There's another uh, for a sling there. It's kind of plasticky, so I'm not really holding my breath on that. Mud pad is 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 rubber. It's I mean it's pretty dense, but I mean it's better than just a hard chunk of metal or something. So, yeah, it's just plain synthetic, a little bit of checkering in here, a little bit of checkering, just enough to grip onto it. I mean, we're not talking anything super, super fancy or nothing. So, yeah, there you have her. The ATA Etro. Uh, shotgun review that you never thought you'd ever do. So, I know I got it in there. Everything seems nice. Everything seems good. Tight. Fits well. So, yeah. Right on, guys. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for when we take her out. And hopefully, we'll maybe go shoot some pigeons or clay pigeons or something like that with it and uh, see how it goes. I gotta get some ammo. For that's the first thing, I guess. And then uh, could test it out. So I've been wanting a 20 gauge for a long time, and I wanted to get a. I was just gonna get an 870 or something like that, or a Mossberg. But like I said, there was a pretty good opportunity to get one of these, and the price that I paid for it, um, it was uh, very hard to say no. Uh, if you can get my drift. So yeah. Right on. Thanks. Cheers.